First job, behind the counter of a grocery store. Next, moved to Baltimore. Worked there as a secretary. In 1948, came to New York. Three years later, married Louis Auer, banker. These are the facts. The name of Gene Patchett may not mean very much to you. But more than likely, you've seen this eye. This mouth. And, of course, the famous beauty mark. The success of a model can be measured by the number of magazine covers she appears on. Jean Patchett has been on many. In a business as competitive as modeling is, Jean has been the most sought-after model for nearly seven years. Evening, Jean. Hello, Ed. Other than being a good model, what kind of a model would you say you are? Well, they consider me a high fashion model. Well, now, I am completely out of my depth and utterly ignorant. What does that mean? Well, it means that I am too tall to be a junior, like wearing a size 9 or 11. So I have to wear 10s and 12s, and so... So that makes you a high fashion model, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too long waisted to be a junior, we'll put it that way. Well, Jean, a moment ago we looked at a Vogue cover with just your eye and your mouth on it. Uh, does that sell high fashion clothes? Well, in a way, I suppose so. It started a new fad called the doe eye, and um, high fashion girls use it more often than the, the juniors do. Juniors use the doe eye, but uh, we over-exaggerate it and sort of give a more sophisticated look to it. Well, Jean, I ought to remember things like this, but uh, I just don't. What color are your eyes? Oh, Ed, don't you know? <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, if only we had color television. <laughs> well, I notice you're almost smiling now. In fact, you are. Uh, but so often in your pictures, you're very serious. Is there a reason for this? Uh, it seems when I first started working, they wanted to make me a junior. And since I am so tall and so long-waisted, I couldn't wear junior clothes. And stand in cashmere sweaters and skirts and polo coats, the wind blowing through my hair. So I... Uh, decided to be a high fashion model and didn't smile at all, which made me look a little older, I think. Do you like working with particular photographers? Uh, yes. Well, we won't ask you to name them, but <laughs> tell me this, uh, does Lou ever object to your heavy schedule? Oh, I don't believe so. We have lots of fun together. It's, uh, I don't really work very hard. I only work three and a half days a week and stop work at 4.30 and we have lots of fun. Evening, so, Lou. Give me Ed, how are you? Now? All right, five thanks. Uh, tell me, uh, how is she doing at this business of being both a model and a housewife? Well, I hate to say it in front of her, Ed. Uh, it's a little bit of a commercial, but she's much better as a housewife than she really is as a model, actually. She's top-notch as a housewife. I wonder if your credentials for criticizing models are really any better than mine, Lou. <laughs> but I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I know that you're in the banking business, and uh, it seems to me that uh, that industry is uh, getting more public relations-minded, isn't it? Yes, Ed, that's very true. Uh, I happen to uh, be in that general end of the business. I'm with the New York Trust Company, and I travel uh, trying to bring the banking business to people around the country who would have need for a New York bank, and that seems to be a very definite trend in the banking industry, that uh, we're trying to bring the banks to more and more people throughout the country. Uh, Gene, it appears to me that uh, the secret of success in any field is to have some kind of trademark, is that right? Well, it's been that for me. Uh, my eyes and my mole, which is on the right side of my face, is my trademark. Uh, practically the only way my mother can recognize me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you ever have a desire to become an actress instead of a model? Oh, only when I go to the movies or to the theater. But no, not any otherwise, no. Do you cry at the movies? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> yes. Listen, Ed, I have something to show you. Good. Will you come through here with me? Right, thank you. What are you going to show us, Jean? No, no, you just wait a minute. All right. <laughs> Let me put it here. I can hardly get it off the door now. <laughs> Look what someone is commercialized. Pajamas. These, yes. These are pajamas with 
the eye and the mouth. And um, I think it's very clever, actually. They're young men's pajamas. Uh huh. Too bad I'm not uh, getting a little royalty from this or something because of. I, uh, I think it's unfair and might even be illegal. Uh, <laughs> Jean. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember your first modeling job? I remember it very well. It uh, was for a raincoat, and I business his, and I was ready to stop being a model. It was just horrible. Well, now, let's see it, and uh, um, let us judge. I'm sorry, Ed, I don't have it, but um, I do happen to have my uh, first cover, which is Vogue of 1948 in September. Uh-huh. And then I have, uh, here's, here are two pictures that were taken in Mexico. And this is the cover that was on November Harper's. And here's the uh, eye and mouth you were speaking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jane, at the risk of starting an argument in a few million homes tonight, how long does it take you to make up? Well, if I'm in a hurry, 10 minutes. If I'm not in a hurry, 20 minutes. Well, unfortunately, we haven't got that much time, but uh, how do you do the eyes? Could you show us that? Just one minute. We don't have a vanity, so we'll have to go back into the living room, and uh, I'll try to show you. Tell me, does Lou ever say that it seems longer than 20 minutes when he's waiting for you to go out? Uh, yes. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> the only time it takes longer than 20 minutes is when we're really in a hurry to get out. <laughs> and it takes 45 minutes. <laughs> well, now, Jean, how about that makeup lesson? Well, firstly, I use a, a lipstick brush and mascara. And I wet the mascara. I, and then I start from the inside and work out and then make the doe eye. And then I also darken my mold for when I'm working. Mm -hmm. It uh, stays on longer for my day's work. I don't, I put it on once in the morning and then I don't have to change it again. Wonderful. It's, it's really very great. Why don't you do the other eye for us? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> but I'm hiding one side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> Lou, uh, uh, I suppose uh, being married to a model, uh, there are many nice things about it, but one is that uh, you never run out of a good subject to photograph, is that right? Uh, you've touched on a rather tender subject, Ed, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm an amateur photographer of no standing whatsoever, but I do have a little movie camera and uh, take pictures occasionally during the summer. We have a little summer place in, in West Hampton. And uh, I found after getting the films developed at the end of the summer that I had taken more pictures of other attractive <laughs> girls than of my wife, which was a source of Including a little argument. Including dogs and cats and birds and the ocean. And there was a moon once. There was a moon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I happen to be a little partial to those dog shots. I don't know why it is. Oh, but, uh, we love that, dogs. That seems to be it. I meant to ask you earlier, uh, how did you two meet? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that an answer? <laughs> well, uh, through two model friends that we had and uh, a little luncheonette here in town. We've Seven been looking... Years ago. Uh -huh. Not so many. <laughs> we, we've been looking around your apartment. Uh, where's your television set? Uh-oh. That's a bad question. You tell them. <laughs> I, I, well, I want a television set, but uh, unfortunately, I can't seem to get one in the house. There's a certain party here who doesn't <laughs> want one. Uh, perhaps that's a question I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Actually, no. we're pretty partial to the movies, Ed. We love the movies. Uh, that's when I cry most of all. <laughs> no, this gets worse and worse. Uh, <laughs> I don't really <laughs> cry all the time. Honestly. Forgive us for the movie commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Not intended. Well, we're going out to see Bill Holden pretty soon, so that'll be all right. Gene, uh, what's the most exciting assignment you ever had? Oh, dear. Making breakfast for me? Yeah. <laughs> mm. No. Mm. Well, I, I suppose going to Peru was, a, was the really greatest thing because it was really my first great trip and my first great pictures. It was a wonderful trip, and my career started on that trip. We worked very hard, but uh, 
Some great, wonderful pictures came out of it. The photographer won an award for it, in fact. I don't know whether you call that exciting, working hard, but... Uh, Matter of you... fact, the best picture I've ever seen of you was on that Peru That's right. trip. In a plane. In a plane. Well, Gene Patchett and Lou, thank you very much for letting us come and visit you. It's been very pleasant indeed. Good night. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Good night. Bye-bye.